To this day, people still have some questions. The site of the siege has become a historical site, which attracts thousands of tourists. People from across the country visit to see the land where the compound once stood. Six News reporter Adriana Alexander went to that land and learned how today's Branch Davidians are working to keep the history alive. Many people may not realize it, but the Davidian following can still be found in Mount Carmel. Silence surrounds the land, but so do questions about what happened 30 years ago. 30 years ago, some may say this land was the most dangerous land in America. Today, a sense of peace consumes the area, making what happened on April 19, 1993, feel like a distant memory. But small reminders spread everywhere, help you to not forget. The spirit that we have here, a lot of people are assuming is going to be a, uh, a fearful spirit, but it's a peaceful spirit. Every week, hundreds of people visit the branch, the Lord, our righteousness, the Branch Davidian Church that lies in the middle of what was once home to the 76 Davidians who died on the 19th. Yeah, he had already went to the hospital and then came to our house. Inside is a makeshift museum with loads of information and a memorial to remember those who lost their lives. It feels a little weird. Mm -hmm. It does. It could it could have been prevented, right? They could have took him anytime. They didn't why they had to come here and destroy all this. A Davidian who calls the land home is planting a self-made back to Eden garden on the land to signify a fresh beginning for visitors and churchgoers. People think, let's just write it off. It must be just a, a cursed place. But now we understand that God is blessing us and we have the land is prospering and there's more to, to teach and, and share with people. Charles Pace is the pastor of this church and has a following across the world. He encourages people to visit the historical site and to come to their own conclusions about what happened here before, during and after that siege. I asked David Koresh, I said, are you willing to go through this judgment of God because you want to claim to be God? He said, well, someone has to fulfill this prophecy for God. It might as well be me. We are trying to tell the world what really happened here at Mount Carmel on April the 19th of 93. So if you take time to visit, there won't be many signs of the standoff or blazing fire. Only sounds of the still wind filled with memories that are part of American history forever. You will find many others with a strong faith on the property today. Pastor Pace holds church service mainly online where thousands attend virtually.